Hi everyone, so welcome again to the next session of shortcuts and jugards. We will also do three questions today, previous cat questions. A brief introduction about me. Moving on to first question which is of geometry. Now this is cat 13 question, 2013. Okay. You can pause the video, give it a try. It's a good question actually. And then we will talk about the shortcut of this. All right, let's start then. So in this question, I will give you proper shortcut. I mean, uh, logical shortcut, okay? Not so called uh, taking random values and all, correct? All right, so uh, yeah, everything is given to you. EF is 17, it's a rectangle, right? Uh, PQ is 6.5, P and Q are the midpoints. AB is 20. So if AB is 20, obviously DC will also be 20. Right. Now, because PQ are midpoint, so we know midpoint theorem that in a triangle, if two uh, sides are, I mean, midpoints of two sides are joined, then the line is parallel to the third side and half of it. So, obviously, PQ will be half of BF, right? So, BF will be double of that, 13. Correct. Now, see, it's a rectangle. So, obviously, we need to apply Pythagoras theorem, okay? Now, 20 is given to you. If you can recall some of the Pythagorean templates, like the smallest one is uh, 3, 4, 5, right? Then we have uh, multiples obviously will work out 6, 10, uh, 6, 8, 10 and so on and so forth. 5, 12, 13, right? 8, 15, 17, correct? 7, 24, 25. These are the most commonly used uh, Pythagorean templates. So in many times uh, in CAT questions, it uh, and these are very useful if you remember this and multiple of this, right? Obviously, you can take common and all. Now you can see there that we have uh, 17, we have 13. So hypotenuse, if we talk about, we are talking about this. This is 12, okay? And this. So I mean, 99% chance is there that. Uh, use of these two will be there because everything is an integer right area options are also an integer okay so almost negligible chances there that it is not a pythagorean template right so 99.9 .9 percent i can say that these are these can form pythagorean templates correct now obviously you can see that bc is higher than uh, ce so if you talk about this right 5 12 13 so can i say it will be 5 and it will be 12 even if you take reverse, you will be uh, you will found that uh, you will find that it will be not possible. Right? Now, seventeen is uh, eight and fifteen. We also already know that the sum of uh, these two should be twenty, right? So obviously, this has to be fifteen and this has to be uh, eight. Correct. So you can verify now that five plus fifteen is twenty. Verified. Eight, fifteen, seventeen. Everything is satisfied, right? Huh? Now, obviously, if uh, this total is 12, this is 8, so this will be 4. So, shortcut of this question was that you need to remember Pythagorean triplets. So, that saves lots of time, right? Now, I just need to use uh, area and uh, solve it, right? We need to find the area of this part. So, I can subtract the uh, area of the three triangles or the corner ones from the area of rectangle and we can find the answer. So area of rectangle will be 20 into 12 that is 240 and uh, area of this triangle will be half base into height right so 40 this will be 120 half is 60 this will be at 630 correct so 60 40 30 is 130 130 subtract answer is 110 correct got the logic remember this many a times it is very useful in cat just you need to follow it right you need you should have an eye of observing this that these are multiples of pythagorean triplets correct we'll do uh, more such question which came in cat over the years in the coming video obviously so that you can remember <laughs> correct all right moving on to the next question the salaries of ramesh ganesh and rajesh are in the ratio of this 
uh, in the ratio this in 15 the Ramesh salary is increased by 25 percent uh, what is the increase in Rajesh salary now the question is very easy right so you can obviously solve it in a short matter of time the only point is how can we shorten it more right so what should be the correct strategy for such kind of question so that we can save more and more time you know now we can say we have Rajesh sorry Ramesh Ganesh and Rajesh right always write in short form 6 5 and 7 is the ratio now salary of Ramesh should be increased by 25 percent now 25 percent is 1 by 4 right so obviously it's better to take a multiple of 4 so instead of 6 5 and 7 if I double it because it's a ratio right so I can double it easily so it will be 12 ratio 10 ratio 14 right ratio is same correct what is the use for this that we can easily form 25 percent of that right so 25 percent of that is 3 so if I add plus 3 to this it will be 15 and now the ratio should be 3 4 3 so if this is 15 this has to be 20 and the third one has to be 15 condition satisfied right we don't need to tag x and y okay now what is the question Rajesh salary is increased by how much percent 14 becomes 15 so one increase over 14 which is 7.14 percent so your answer is 7 so what was the shortcut here take multiples okay 25 percent is 1 by 4 take multiple of 4 do not take x and y everything is is in ratio and percentage so it does not matter that whether you take x or not the answer will be same clear all right let's move on to the third question the product of three consecutive positive integer is uh, 15600 uh, last one i guess was of cat 19 questions and this was cat uh, 17 or 18 i know as far as i remember okay to give it a try go come back again if the product of three consecutive positive integer is this then the sum of the squares of the integer is okay so generally you will take uh, three consecutive integer as x minus one x x plus one and then form equation and then solve it correct but if you follow the question logically it's very easy product of three numbers is this right now you have double zero in number system we have already learned when you have double zero in the last when there is a uh, I mean 4 into 25 is the only case when you get double zero correct I mean after that obviously so this is the minimum case right so I must have a multiple of 25 I must have a multiple of 4 that's why I am getting double zero correct so see uh, if it is a product of three consecutive integers so 25 must be there isn't it I mean I cannot take a multiple of 5 I mean when you take 3 numbers at most one of them will be multiple of 5 and I need 25 so obviously I need 25 only which is 25 which I otherwise I cannot get, get double zero right now numbers closer to 25 will be what 23 24 25 26 27 I need a multiple of 4 also so I need this also right so can I say my two numbers are definitely fixed I definitely need these two isn't it so two of the three numbers must be 24 and 25 that's sure clear only because double of double zero now 156 is also a multiple of 3 correct 13 sorry so obviously a multiple of 13 we have is 26 that's it question solved this is the these are the numbers you, you must take I just need to square them and add them so 4 square is uh, 16 6 I just need unit place okay 25 square is 5 unit place 26 square is 6 unit place 6 5 6 is 7 unit place must be 7 this is ruled out this is ruled out now answer is this or this now simply see 25 square is 625 the so answer must be closer to triple of that isn't it so obviously this is ruled out it has to be d if you are clear with the concept if you are clear with the thoughts this can be solved in 15 20 seconds or maybe less than that clear 
All right then. Thank you very much. See you again in the next video. Till then, bye bye.